Shalom. Following Yahshua. <clears throat> Question. We've seen, or we see the blackouts that are taking place, uh, I believe in South America. Uh, I know Uruguay got hit. Uh, I, believe it, I believe it was South America, though. Well, they have, uh, I, 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 I want to say Brazil, but don't quote me on that one. Um, but they have blackouts down there. They don't really know how it happened yet. And the word is, is uh, I mean, it just came out of nowhere. Now, I know that on my channel, I like to talk about these things, or I try to talk about these things. I try to get our minds moving in that direction because if it can happen there, it can happen here. A lot of us have that mindset that these things will never happen here. It only happens elsewhere. It only happens in other countries. And I honestly believe that those countries are more prepared than we are because they don't live with such a decadence that we have today. They don't live in such a manner, you know, where people are spoiled. Like we are. I mean, they have spoiled people, but not like we are in this country. And especially amongst those of, of color, you know, we don't recognize or even seem to think about these things because if it happens, I'll just pray. I'll just fall and fall on my knees and, and ask the Father to bail me out. When you have time right now to do it, you know, I keep pushing this idea that when you read the Bible, yes, Yah protected, but he oftentimes protected his people by giving them the foresight of something that is to come so that they could protect themselves. He gave Noah the foresight. Noah had to go do. He gave Yosef, Joseph, the foresight he had to go do. I want you to pay attention to those stories. And look at all the other stories. Sodom and Gomorrah. He told Lot he had to go do. In fact, if you read the word, you'll see a lot of it is you have to go and do. After he tells you, he shows you, you have to go do something with what he has given you now. The knowledge that he has given you. The prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself. The foolish one passes on and is punished. It's in Proverbs and it says it twice. So here's my question. Let's just say a lights out situation happened. What would you do? I'm not even talking about necessarily EMP where 99% of cars will stop working because they're so uh, 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 computerized today. I'm just saying, we have the power went out for a prolonged time. Sure, you may have your car, but the pumps at the gas station don't work anymore. So, whatever you have in your car right now, it's all you have. Let's say you're driving and it happens. You get to where you go, but because you don't keep enough gas in your car, now you want to return home and you can't because you're constantly driving with your car on E. Now, to be completely honest, we wouldn't even know until the morning because we're not on the grid anyways. We don't rely on we like we don't rely on grid power anyway. So since we're on solar, we wouldn't know anyways until the morning happened. Uh, uh, we went on YouTube to check the news or something like that. But we're out for those of you in high rises and apartment buildings, especially if it happens in the middle of, uh, at night, because there's something about the psyche of man where light or our prolonged time in darkness, especially uncontrollable darkness. When, especially when you look at the average human being, his television's on at night, you know, you always see that blue glow coming from people's homes. So imagine it turns off. And imagine this thing, we don't know how long it's gonna take. One day, it's, it's been two or three days or four days. Do you have provisions? Do you even have a plan? Does your family even have a plan in case something like that were to go down? The power would to go out for a prolonged amount of time. You and your family are separated. Does your family have a plan where they are? In that apartment building? In that house? What about when things start to break down? What if you run out of gas and you can't get home? And you are 30 miles from home? I mean, y'all forbid, let's say, let's go to the level and say it's EMP. Hold on one second, please. Got to get past this uh, checkpoint. 
All right, Shalom, Shalom, I'm back. They, they, they're having, they're, they got, they've had a random checkpoint in this area. Uh, so I just get, you know, I just had to get past it. Um, but anyways, so let's just say, that, you know, what if it is EMP? But let's just not even go EMP. Let's just go, you know, stay on the lights out. The power turns off. Do you have a plan? Do you? Let's say you're in the middle of a city right now and you don't have air conditioning. Do you have water to drink? Do you know how to stay cool? Are you sure you want to go outside to cool off? If you have live in an apartment complex and you have one of those electrical garages where you know you have to push the button and the garage opens or yada yada yada, are you ready for that? Because I know people, all oh, I have all my stuff stored in my garage. Well, what if you can't get in your garage? And you don't know how long the event's going to be, so you don't want to go walking around, you know, trying to jack up your garage, then the lights turn on <laughs> three hours from there, from that point, and you just, you know, rent open your garage door. Let's say it's prolonged now, weeks, months, and it can happen. It could be a cyber attack. Hey, you may still have gas in your car. You may still have however much gas you have stored with you, but you ain't getting any more. Do you have a protocol? I have a protocol on keeping fuel in my car. I don't go below a certain level. And I'm speaking especially to those of the faith. Especially to us. Because so many of us don't have a plan. Our plan is we're just going to fall on our knees and pray. We sound very Christianized when it comes to that. Kind of like it's gonna, uh, someone else is going to save us. Oh, I'll just pray to you and he'll come in and he'll work it out for me. The Lord will make a way somehow. No. These are the things that we should be prudent and foresee. Because you can watch the news and I guarantee you, these things that are happening in other countries are going to happen here. The problem is, is that actually this country has not experienced serious civil unrest. But if you look in the world right now, there's a Hong Kong, millions are walking the streets. Uh, 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 the yellow vest protests continue to happen. Uh, uh, in Argentina, that, I mean, this country is, it's turning upside down. There's a lot of upheaval taking place right now. We don't ever think it'll happen here. Ever. But we all say these things are going to happen. And, or, or we have this idea that it'll happen elsewhere, but it'll never affect us. You're like, and, you know, I, I think about it as far as myself in this car, you know. What do I have if I broke down or uh, ran out of gas, or the lights want to go out and I can't get gas, and I'm at work. Well, listen, I have enough gas, I always make sure I have enough gas that I can get back and forth to work two or three times. And I drive quite a distance. I make sure I have enough gas that I can easily and safely go home. Not just enough gas to get home because if something bad happens, and let's say there's accidents on the roadways, you know, do you know how to get around them? you know, uh, alternate ways home? Or do you know just that one way home? So I make sure that I have water in my car, several gallons. I make sure I have granola bars in my car so I have some some way of, of providing myself energy if it took me a couple days to get home. And I carry other amenities inside of my car to make my ability to get back home to my family a a, a likely happening. What about you? Do you have the ability to get home? Do, is your family trained? Is there a plan in place that your family could snap up and start enacting if something bad were to take place? Or would it be a crapshoot? Everybody's running around. Everybody's gonna run to their cell phone and try to, oh my God, I can't get in contact with your daddy. Yo daddy, I can't get in contact. What are we gonna do? No. Men, it's your responsibility to have a plan in place for your family. 
That goes also with food storage. Do you have some food storage? I mean, you should at least, at least have three months of food. At least three months of food for your family. At least uh, 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 three weeks, I say three weeks of water stored inside your home. At least. And that includes water to bathe and water to drink. At least. And yes, I do have some uh, equations for that. But these are the things that we don't think about, that we need to start thinking about because the decadence of this world that we are used to living, it's coming down. Every empire fails. And this Roman Empire, the Egyptian Empire, this country is, even it failed. But even the Roman Empire fell, even the Egyptian Empire fell. Empires fall and new ones rise. And I'm afraid that what's going to rise out of this it's going to be all so grand. A beast system that is already here. The order of the world that is new. I hope you have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. I apologize for not doing more of these videos, but we will start doing them. You got to start thinking. Because if, you, if you're even aware of what's happening, you, you feel it. Something is coming. Bless you. For those that have the ears to hear, let them hear. That's our taking moves. Shalom.